Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Here's another great tutorial video. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Hey, here's an idea. Um, if you have uh, PVC pipes or any other pipes that you're not using. Okay, the small one is what I use on my wagon. I pull up my wheelchair. Okay, I, I, you're going to need some uh, L brackets, 2 inch L brackets because it's 2 inch PVC pipe. I have 3 inch, that's fine. Some duct tape, and you're going to see uh, just how I use the duct tape in two different ways. And the idea of this is where to put things like my uh, my uh, poles for crabbing. This is uh, for cleaning out my uh, chimney to my wood burning stove. And these guys are for uh, uh, cleaning out the duct uh, ducking in my dryer. Okay, so uh, so the problem is with these things, they're all over the place. These things are always on the ground. Uh, being stepped on, tripped on. These things just lean up against the side of the garage on the floor. And also I have my uh, my flag there that I keep rolled up until we need it. Okay, and it would be nice to actually put it somewhere uh, to where it's out of the way and ready to be used when it's ready to, to use it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, what you're going to need is uh, obviously your, your supplies. Drill with, the, with a couple of bits that you're going to need along with the Phillips head if you need that which I'm going to need for the L bracket. Okay, uh, duct tape is what we're going to use. We're going to use this for a strap and also for the bottom. I'm going to show you how to make a custom strap to hold this into place. Okay, I suggest you get some kind of uh, um, screws that have washers built onto them or washers uh, to put onto them because when we're going through the duct tape, you're going to need the washers. All right, so uh, first thing. Let's go ahead and make a strap that's going to fit around this, but we don't want it to adhere to this. All right, so we want to make it long enough to go around, so I'll make it actually bigger than I would. We're going to cut this, and we're going to fold the ends about an inch in. Fold them about an inch. All right, that's going to give us a reinforcement to have screws go through. Uh, I bring it around, and right now this is this is actually too short. No problem. Let's save that. Okay, let's make one a little longer. All right. So now we know. So we're going to take this and fold it in. This is going to be our one that we're going to mount around it. All right. We want to be able to reuse this and reuse this. Okay, I'm doing it lightly over. It gives us enough room. Turn it upside down. What's really nice is that we, uh, we have a place to hold that. Now this guy, uh, we're going to rip off the ends and discard those. We're going to take this and put it on the inside. All right, the reason for this is we don't want the duct tape to actually be sticking to our pipe. All right, this is what we're going to do to, to, to have a hold on to the wood over there and be able to take this out if we need to take this down for any reason. All right, on the bottom, so this is done, this is trash. On the bottom now, uh, we need to make this to where whatever we put in this does not go all the way through. So I need to make sure it's clean and able to take tape. So we're going to take this. This is going to this is going to wrap around. We're going to take this and put it over. And notice since we didn't uh, fold over the ends, it sticks to our fingers a little. Take a little bit here. All right. Put it on the inside. All right. We're going to. Uh, we're going to take this and put it underneath and bring it up. All right, that really is all we need, but there's times when uh, it sneaks through the corners, uh, whatever you're putting in there. So we're going to take, take another one, do this, and then another one in the center. I love duct tape, and uh, my favorite uh, character on uh, Netflix or on TV is uh, MacGyver. Uh, it does wonderful things with duct tape. <laughs> that's, that's probably where I picked up the duct tape stuff from. All right. Uh, so uh, you can reinforce this by wrapping around, which we want to do when we put our L bracket. What we're going to do uh, on the bottom is uh, we're going to have this down here. We're just going to give more reinforcement underneath when we tape it on. We're going to leave it a little bit uh, away because we need to be able to wrap around uh, this and um, once it gets uh, put on. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, come up and put two screws in. We're going to have the bottom sit, uh, and then um, uh, we're going to make something actually for this to be on there too. Don't forget, we want to be able to take this off when we need to. 
So, uh, so we have to take that into consideration. Okay. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna. I, I don't think you need to see me put this on there. So I'm gonna use two screws uh, that I have here to actually uh, put in here. These are made for this, and luckily I found two of them. The other two I have down on the floor. I don't have screws for, but hopefully I can find something that's gonna fit nice. But because I'm a little bit further away from that, I can use any screw I want. All right, so I'm going to go mount this and then uh, bring you over and show how to put it up. Now I put my uh, L clamp on on the bottom down there. Okay, that's what it sits on. That's uh, the, the top right there. You can make it shorter if you want. It's uh, it depends on what you're going to put into it. Okay, so right about where the top shelf is right there is where I want to put my strap. Okay, it's about two thirds up the pipe. Okay, now I need to put the one end of it in before I actually put the pipe because I have it real close to that shelving. And then the other one I can wrap around and put on this side. Now what I did is I took the two screws that I'm using with the washers on it and pierced. Okay, with the sticky, what's left over the sticky side on the inside. And I pierced it through the double folded side. About maybe a, a quarter inch, half inch away from the, the, the ends. And so it looks something like that. And there's the first one, okay, it's one, uh, about a four inch uh, piece of uh, duct tape going across the L bracket, and it is able to be removed. Well, I didn't put any tape on the other side of it to make it non-sticky. There is some play in this, but to, and that's a good thing because the brush up here is hitting up against this. So it actually moved it over a little bit. So a little bit of play is okay. Uh, just a, a word about the screws here. I had to drill a pilot hole because it's not a wood screw that I used, it's a machine screw. So I don't care. Okay, it's a screw. That's all I cared about. Okay. Also, I have this wood that's on the inside of the garage because this is a, it originally was a carport before it was made garage. And there's no siding here. If you have siding or if you have uh, uh, just uh, wood going up and down, uh, the beams going up and down, you may have to put a piece of wood or something in between. So you could do or just use the two beams. I don't know. Figure it out. I mean, it's easy to do. I'm going to put the rest up and show you what it looks like afterwards. Well, I'll tell you, while I was doing this project, I made two other videos in the meantime. And Mother Nature is great, okay? Uh, here's uh, my fishing pole that I put on the bottom. That's the, the part I use on my, uh, my wagon. All right, so the fishing pole is in a spot that will never be bothered by anything. Totally out of the way. Over here, of course, that's my parking lot for my Jeeps, my model Jeeps that I use. Uh, you've seen this one on YouTube if you actually uh, watch my YouTube channels. All right, uh, there's the right one is for my chimney sweeper. Uh, the left one is for my uh, vent cleaner. All right, totally out of the way. Never have to trip on those again or be in the way again. And over here on the other side, I elected, uh, I elected to put my uh, crabbing stuff up against the wall. I think that's uh, they're totally off the ground. Uh, so my American flag is inside a PVC pipe, totally protected, never to fall on the ground, uh, even though I never let it touch the ground, it's there until I need it. So uh, subscribe and you'll see a lot more videos, including the two I just